Welcome back traders to Stat Oasis channel. In today's video, we're going to continue with the money management block and we're going to build a uh, strategy with a stop loss and see the difference uh, than the strategy without a stop loss using the money management techniques. So you can compare both videos and see the differences. So let's jump in. So uh, now that we did the strategy with no stop loss, now I'm going to show you the difference when you build a strategy with a stop loss. So we will start by going to Builder, full setting, and sorry, we're going to what to build. And then in stop loss, we will pick a fixed stop loss of 300 ticks. That's again, $3 per share. Save. Let's clear all this. And let's build. So everything is the same except now the strategy will have a built-in stop loss. And let's pick a nice curve. Oh, 74 trades, that's good. So now let's take this to retest and make sure you apply config. And now we have um, I'm sorry, which one is it? It's 0596. Yeah, so it's this one. So I'm going to pause the video and do the test uh, uh, until here to save some time. 2,000 years later. Okay, we're back. So now I tested this strategy, which has a stop loss of $3 per share and put the results here. So let's start here. So fixed size obviously is the same. 9,212, 9,212, because we're using 100 share fixed. Fixed percent balance. Now, the difference between these two is this one doesn't have stop loss. So we said that SQX is coming up with a measure to find out the number of shares. In our case now, we do have a stop loss, which is $3 per share. That means starting 100, sorry, 10,000, multiplied by 5%, that's our risk per trade, divided by we're risking $3 per trade, then we get 166. And let's test another number, let's go down. And let's pick this one. Okay, so now it's 23,677 times 5% divided by 3. Then we get 394 shares. Okay. So, this is now working fine because we do have a stop loss. And the now the only difference here is the we're using same concepts and everything, but we're not using the balance. We're, we're using the actual closed trade, which is in case this is true, yes? Because we do, we're we always taking one trade at a time. So we should get theoretically the same result. And as you can see now here is 28.309 and here's 28.597, very close. There's a little bit of difference. And the reason is, is because when you go here, when you say stop loss, when you put any stop loss, it doesn't work because the strategy already have a stop loss. So both of these will perform the same, except that this one will take the balance and this one will take the account. And because our strategy only trades one trade at a time, it will only trade the next trade when it closes the first one. That means we are never in a position with an open profit or loss and taking the next trade. It's always closed. So that's why these two strategies in these two banks now match. Okay, that's the only reason, which is good to know. Okay, and then with fixed amount, which is we decide the risk size, we decided on 500. In the first strategy, so fixed amount here, and the first strategy, if you remember, the number of shares was fixed as per uh, the uh, amount we put in. So we put minimum of 100, 
and that's why we have 100 but now since we have a a stop loss so now the yes it will be fixed but based on the stop loss and why it's 166 again it's very easy starting capital is 10,000 we're risking 5% that's 500 yes it's fixed amount and our here we have a stop loss in this uh, strategy which is three dollars so we divide by three and we get 166 so it's always going to be 166 here while in the beginning because you don't have a stop loss it just pick the default of the minimum shares we put in and then stock size buy price this should be the same as the one without a stop loss because it has nothing to do with the stop loss it's only based on close or open and again it will be missing within one to ten shares and i'll just pick randomly here let's pick this one so one one five one seven five divided by the close 26 77 i get 430 shares and it's 431 and if i divide the same number by the open which is 26 28 it's 438 and it's 431 so again uh, here like the strategy before it it is using dividing the balance on the either the close or the open but somehow there is a bug in it i don't know what is it what it is it's missing one to eight shares depending on the price but the concept still applies now finally i'm gonna build a strategy with an atr stop loss so builder let's clear all and now i'm not gonna pick a fixed number of ticks instead i'm gonna pick a an atr and it's i'm gonna fix it to two multiple of 20 bar atr okay everything else is the same we go here start and we get some strategies it's done let's pick a nice curve it's one 275 trades yep let's pick this one 0.38 we take it to the retester keep original now in the way in the retester it's this one and i'm gonna pause again and do all the tests and get back to you one eternity later okay and we are back so i tested this strategy and put it in the uh, uh, applicable banks so again uh, the fixed size is the same uh, as you can see is 9446 9446 because we're testing fixed size of 100 shares exactly as we build it now when we go here now we have a stop loss so again that stop loss will be used for the number of shares you can see here as we said strategy quant x calculating some kind of um, uh, risk management here we have a stop loss of three dollars and we, here we have a stop loss of two times the average true range and we can check this the source code and you can see here now we have a stop loss coefficient of two and entry is awesome oscillator but exit is stop loss coefficient which was two times atr 20. okay so that's our stop loss and based on that we're getting this number how again same thing we're getting the uh, we're getting the account balance so let's say uh, we're starting with 10 times five percent but now this five percent instead of dividing it by three dollars which we did in this stop loss now our stop loss is atr unfortunately i cannot show you what's the atr here because i don't have it uh, strategy context doesn't show it so as you can see the stop loss here now is two times atr but we don't know that because uh, sqx doesn't show the atr but i can have a rough idea actually i can have the exact idea and i can show you um so in the beginning we have ten thousand, and we're risking five percent that's five hundred dollars so how are we getting 345 if i divide 500 times three or five i'm getting this 
So that means my two times ATR is one four five, okay? Which means my twenty day ATR is seventy five cents, and that's how we're reaching this number. So uh, same goes here now. If I click on it, it should be the same, yes? Because remember, as I told you before, when you do, uh, when we're doing the account, we're taking the actual account. But since we always have a closed position, so the balance and account will always be the same. And because now we have a fixed uh, stop loss, so this number will not be used. It doesn't matter what you put it in. And I actually did test it before recording the video. See, I put here 1,000. Uh, so my stop loss was $10, yet it wasn't used because we have a stop loss built into this strategy, which is the two times ATR. So in this case, then both of these should be the same. And you can see here that this is 45,961. And this is 45,934. Again, very, very close. It's matching like this one. So when you have a strategy that trades only only when it closes the other trade, then both these way and they have a stop loss, then both these options will do the same thing. Okay. With fixed amount, again, we're going to have the same option. Yes, because we're dividing um, uh, the um, we're dividing the risk, this risk by the stop loss, which is the uh, two times ATR. So if we come back here, now because in this one, our uh, stop loss was fixed, it was $3. So that's why all the trades were the same at 166 years. In ATR, because it's dynamic, it's always changing. So even though the risk is 5%, which is $500 in the beginning, fixed but it's it's getting different number of shares because the the risk amount is changing which is the two times atr and then finally by stock price again we're going to find the same thing it's basically dividing by the uh, uh, price so so again if we divide that uh, starting number so let's say here it's 10763 divided by if I take the closing 2197 that's 489 two shares off and 10763 divided by the open price which is 2192 then we get 491 and it's 487 and as I said there might not be a bug so other options are like let's say Let's say SQX is not taking the close or the open. So a, a typical price is close open, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, open uh, high low divided by three. That's a what's called a typical price. So SQX might be taking that one and dividing it. And the reason I know is because we are very close. We're always one to 10 shares off. And so there might be taking that uh, kind of calculation. So it might not be a bug. What's the point of all this uh, money management? You know, there are so many ways to do it and it's different for futures and stocks and currencies. Well, the reason is you want to grow, if you want to grow your account aggressively, the only way to do it is with position sizing. And that's what money management is. And I'll show you a simple example. Let's pick, um, so if you pick, this strategy, for example, with the ATR, it's trading, it's making a profit of $9,500, roughly, with a maximum drawdown of 14%. If I do the uh, the percent, now it's making 45000 So from 9.5, let's do the calculation. So it's four five nine six one. Four five nine six one divided by 
9546. 9546. That's 4.8 times more, 480 percent. It's same logic, same starting capital, same symbol, same everything, except now you implemented a uh, position sizing method. And look at the drawdown. Drawdown now is 14.6 percent, and when we do this, it's 27 percent. So we are risking more. We're risking double, but we're making 4.8 times more. So the, double the uh, drawdown, but f almost five times more the amount of profit. And that's the only reason you do position uh, sizing. So it's a very powerful way to make more money using everything else is the same. Okay. Of course, there are so many other uses for money management when you have a portfolio and different strategies but mainly that's what you're going to use it for you want to grow your account aggressively and that's how you uh, build up your account quickly with of course good strategies so obviously now uh, you have uh, more questions uh, or more uh, opinions uh, if you have anything uh, to add to share please uh, comments below Otherwise, I hope you got some use out of this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, so Google can share this video with others. And uh, I'll see you in the next video soon.